Are these uh, cleaner boards your design? They are. And you fabricated them yourself? Mm-hmm. Good morning, everyone. Coming to you on a snowy March day from Anderson Ranch Reservoir here in Idaho. And we are fishing for kokanee. This reservoir has a lot of kokanee and there's some big ones. So stay tuned and let's go fishing. Just gonna run some of some of Dean's uh, Hellraisers. So with a little hoochie behind them, it has to be fairly small, or they won't they won't run the way they should. So when we're just throwing a little bit of shoe peg on there, and you can watch them when you first throw them in. Make sure you got the action you want there, and then we're gonna run them out. We'll probably run one side out like a, a hundred, and the other side maybe 50 to start with, and we'll see what these fish want today and where they're at and then we'll just do more of that so it should be good here we'll get rolling today mike and i are fishing with dean teagarden inventor of wiggle fin action disc and hellraiser fish dodgers we've also got john christensen as our fishing captain and toby wyatt of real time fishing on board today as we go after some big kokanee on the anderson ranch reservoir we're fishing today with some planer boards these are some i built myself um designed and tested to, to do what I wanted to do with them. Um, what that allows you to do is spread your gear way out. If you look out there, we've got four rods running on each side. And if we wanted to run more, we just run and had more permits to run, we could let them out as far as we wanted. Um, here, kokanee fishing, and this is a fairly small body of water and there's bulk traffic, so we don't, we're not real far out today. We're, we're running the gear fairly tight. Um, and that, what that allows you to do is keep all the gear out there. And every time you catch a fish, you don't have to stop the boat or reel everything in. So we'll just reel the one fish in. And then if, if, then we'll just put the line back on. We'll slide these rods. If this rod is the one that got bit, we'll move these up and just let some more line out. And then we'll put the new one on the bottom. And that just allows you to, to keep all your gear in the water the whole time you're fishing. So the more time you got more lures in the water, the more fish you're gonna catch. It's just math. Watching John put these lines out was pretty impressive. We've got nine rods and setups running. So here's John to, oh, fish. Come on. Getting the nibble. Yeah, he's there. All right, it's a little bitty one. A little bitty one. Fish on, first of the day. It's a little guy. Now the limit here on Anderson Ranch is 25 kokanee. And like most reservoirs with kokanee in it, you're gonna find some small ones. There's also some big fish here. So it looks like we're starting the day off with a smaller one. We're running exclusively Wiggle Fin products, Hellraiser, Dodgers. If you haven't seen these before, they're way cool. We'll show you some close-ups of the action later. 
there's some special things you need to do to run them properly and Dean's going to show us about that as well. Lost that one. Oh, darn it. Self-release. <laughs> Oops. Fish off. Fish off. Check out the action that this Dodger is going to give your gear. You can just imagine. We'll show you it. 15 inch leader to a little micro hoochie with two size four hooks. The action on the Hellraiser is is from the bend in the nose, the bend in the tail. When it's drawn through the water, uh, it, it wants to pull it sideways. Fish, fish, fish. fish. Oh, fish, fish, Stop fish. Rod. Oh, that's a good one. A nice one. Hey, we'll get back to that, Dean. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. This is a good one. I seen him jumping out there. Ha! Ah, a little different than my door shack core kokanee. He's babying. Yeah. Yeah, a big difference there. Yeah, I'm used to catching 10, 12 inches. This one looks like it's about 16, 17 inches. Yeah, it tail walked out there, kind of like a tarpon. It did. It exploded out on the surface of that. Yeah, case. yeah, I was. I'm pretty impressed with that. This fish was down about what, 25 feet? Yeah, 20, 25 feet. Yep, and it was the outside rod, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, here it comes. Big things are happening at the General Store in Spokane. The General Store has been a mainstay in Spokane for over 74 years. Have you checked us out lately? Check out what we're doing in Paint Home and Hardware. We have revamped our paint selection. We have created a larger shop for B2Q with brands like Traeger and Weber. We have doubled the size of our pet and bird selection. Let's come in and check us out. We're here to stay and we've got the fun stuff. Stop in today located downtown off of Division or visit the General Store Outpost off of Argonne in the Spokane Valley. for a new prop? Maybe fix it? Don't guess. Call the pros at Precision Propeller. Owner Darren Prouty and his family have been serving the boating public since 1963. They've seen it all. Outboard, inboard, jet impeller, direct drive, you name it. Precision Propeller will repair your carnage and diagnose your application so you will get better performance if it is to be had. Can't stop in? Parts and service available to eight states via UPS. Stop the bad vibrations. Call Precision Propeller today. You haven't been here, but you know it. You've heard the sounds, smelt the air, and seen where your heart lands, if not yet. You haven't been here, but you've longed for a destination near or far where time spent with loved ones and friends will go into the night and will last in memories forever. You haven't been here, but you're on your way to a place not far. Explore the Dells.
haven't caught in a long time. Okay, this is my, uh, this is the moon jelly, right? That's, uh, that's crushed ice. Crushed ice. Okay, check this out. We had a, a double hook set up, a little squid. Is there any, anything special that makes that squid or it's just a squid? Just a, just a hoochie. Hoochie. Yep. And it's the Hellraiser one inch, which model? That's the five inch model. Five inch model of crushed ice. Crushed ice. And corn. Any scent corn. on the corn? Tuna. Tuna, just some tuna. You gotta mix your corn with uh, uh, oil packed tuna fish. All right. That's good kokanee right there. That's way to start the day. Yeah, that's a really nice cook. Dean, what was that you were telling me about the Hellraiser again? <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, the, hell, the, the basic principle of the Hellraiser is that uh, it's, it, it, it sweeps. It has a sweeping action that, uh, that covers more of a lateral uh, distance in the water. Um, so it's changing the direction of the hoochie um, as it follows behind it. It could be a hoochie, it can be a fly, um, a small spoon. Um, and when it, gets to the, when it gets to the side of the sweep, it, it has a little bit of a hitch for a second and then it, it turns and goes in the other direction. And the, the action that it gives to the hoochie, the change of direction that it gives to the hoochie um, just makes a really big difference in, in uh, getting the fish. Bean sucked some pictures last time when you run out of clips and you got to reel your boards and get clips. You know you're having a good day. Probably good, huh? So if you if you look at these rod holders, you'll notice they're all at a different angle. It's because if that outside fish hooks, he has to clear all the other lines coming around like he did the first time. And so when that fish pulls around, you'll clear all the other rods and you don't have to touch those. They'll just stay there. Yeah. And so and the same on down. So you really need the elevation change from the top one down, down, down is, is what you need. But you want to run all the same size rods so you don't have a short one in the mix getting hung up or a long one getting right. hung up in your other poles. Oh, yeah. Wow. So we've got our, we got another nice fish is what we got. These guys actually take drag too which, you know, you used to seeing the kokanee bouncing that rod, but there we go. <laughs> nice so, head shake. The same pole, same, same, same one you just let out. Ah. The last one. We got to check out what it is and we'll put more on. So is this, this crushed ice again? Yeah. Oh boy, we've developed a pattern. We've developed a pattern. I, mean, I think this is another 17, 18 inch fish. Oh, look at that. Look at that shiny fish. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Can't believe this. We're like, there's no one here. We saw one boat this morning and there's no one here right now. It's just us and these beautiful fish. So I think this one's bigger. 18. In between fish, I was visiting with Dean and he was telling me a little bit about how he makes these dodgers. Really interesting. It's all about the bend. Oh, look at that fish. Look at that fish. It's all about the bend and the action of the dodger, the color, the way it goes, flashes back and forth, the different colors. And there's the results here on Anderson Ranch Reservoir. There's a few different modes on the Hellraiser, right? There's right. a roll mode. What other modes do you got? Right. So, the mounting point on the nose of the Dodger's got three holes in it. 
The farthest hole back uh, uh, produces a dart mode, which is a wide sweep. The second hole uh, is a standard dodge action. And the one on the nose is actually a roll. It's rolling it all the way over like this wow. as it goes. So these Dodgers got a lot of capability to fit all kinds of different conditions. Right. And, and actions. And different actions and uh, uh, a range of speed that uh, is useful. That's another thing you were saying. That certain sizes are tuned to certain speeds for optimum performance. Uh, yeah, the smaller dart, this is a medium, the smaller dart is uh, uh, optimized for 1.3 uh, to 1.5 uh, speed, standard kokanee speeds. Sure. The medium one is the same um, <clears throat> uh, as far as speeds go and the adjustments go. It's also a good speed for trout. Um, and then the larger one, the 11 inch, uh, runs at uh, two and a half to three miles an hour for speed, so. And you can put some bigger baits behind that. And that, yeah, that runs a uh, three and a half inch standard uh, coho hoochies and, and okay. big, big trolling flies for uh, uh, lake trout. Right on. Um, the other feature I wanted to show everybody at home is, is uh, the material here is transparent. Yeah. So it gives you this profile. Can you explain that to the guys at home? Yeah, I can. It's uh, a transparent uh, substrate like this allows the tape to, uh, to be viewed on both sides of the dodger, um, which uh, when you're using the uh, transparent tape as well, the silhouette that results out of it is transparent. So uh, you get a uh, uh, multi-changing color when it's viewed by fish from underneath in the silhouette, uh, which is something that is uh, impossible on a solid body steel uh, dodger. You just the, the it just shows up as black. It shows right? up as black because yeah, it's you're, light's it, not going through it. Right, correct. Mm -hmm. So uh, it's it's not just the flash; it's also the color that you get uh, in silhouette. Wow. Yeah, there is a little fight on these kokanee, isn't there? Yeah. Just make sure when they start fighting hard, don't don't reel super fast. There's another one. Oh, oh, oh double. Who right. wants it? Fish on. Oh, yeah, go ahead, Jane. Wow. They don't want to horse a kokanee, huh? Is that what you're saying? They got soft mouths. Soft mouths. Yeah. Yep. Don't want to horse kokanee. Take your time. Enjoy it. Savor. Coconut retrieval. Yeah. Fresh coconut sandwich. Um, like not raw canned or sandwich? no? Gonna, like raw? Okay, that's it. Oh man, there are beefy, beefy fish. All right. Double header. Oh, I love that. <laughs> Meanwhile, Dean's working at Bonefish over there. Yeah, those are little footballs. I have the Grange Harbor Underclub. They do great job. Awesome. I wear them every time I fish. <laughs> Anderson Ranch with Wigglefin and Hellraiser Dodgers. My name is Jason Tanner. I own Tanner's Fresh Fish Processing in the Ilchik, Alaska. What we pride ourselves on is ocean to table seafood. Basically right out of the ocean, through me, getting it cleaned up, taken care of, then right to you. We go right down to the ocean, get the fish sorted, and we start filleting them. We vacuum pack them and we flash freeze them. When we thaw that product, it tastes like you just caught it. It's gonna be the best you're ever gonna have. It's gonna beat any fresh fish you bought out of a market.
This is Mike Carey with Northwest Fishing Reports. Potholes Reservoir is recognized around the region as a premier fishing and hunting destination. When it's time to fish or hunt potholes, Ross Outdoor Adventures is our number one choice. Call Shelby at Ross Outdoor Adventures to schedule your Potholes Outdoor Adventure. I'm Guide Shelby Ross. Visit potholesfishing.com or ducktaxi.com for details and to book your next trip. These are monster kokanee. Yeah, these, these fish are just really fat, got a ton of oil in them. We'll cook one here on the grill this afternoon and you'll see what they look like. But if you like salmon, there's not any better eating than these cokes. And this is the moon jelly on this one. This guy's orange. Orange all the way to the That's a nice toad. Toby with the long extended <laughs> net job. Extendo net. Watch my rod tip there. Kinda. Go, go, gadget net. Perfect. Oh, yeah. This might, might be the beefiest one yet. That one's in roll mode. Is that all about the bend? It's all about the bend, and it's all about the. Uh, this one's in the roll mode. It's, on the, <laughs> it's in the front hole. Okay. <clears throat> That's a nice fish. fish. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I'm going to turn around and go right back through that spot. I marked it with a waypoint and we'll see if we can hook another one. I've got some great big coolers and I've got some straps on them. Hang on the outside, it's just a little more space. I'm smelling something good over there, so uh, if you don't mind, we're gonna take a break and go eat. We'll see you back on the other side. It's blown all the way. Who's up? There's a bunch of chips. <laughs> Dean, earlier we were talking about using these slide locks for the wiggle fin. Um, there's a little trick to it. It's not hard once you know it, but show the viewers uh, how to put these on the uh, monofilament. Okay. So you, you take the bead, you put it into the pliers, and you line the slit in the bead so that the slit is going across the pliers. When you apply the pressure to the bead, it'll open up the slit so that you can run the leader through. Pop it open, get the leader through it, run it down to wherever you want it actually to be. We're going to run this. This is a size 2 disc. 
So this is a little bit bigger disc. You can use a size one with a with a, a two inch hoochie and let it run right down to the nose of the hoochie. Um, but we're gonna use a size two, so we're gonna space it up about four inches. You can go four to five inches. And this has got a broader sweep and it acts more like a mini Dodger. Then the disc goes on. and the stopper will hold it in place. Then if you need to adjust that, that bead at any time when you're fishing, you, you, you kind of have a tendency, if you pull on this hard, you can slide it on the leader, but you don't want to do that because the friction will heat up your leader and you can melt your leader if you, if you pull it really hard over a, a distance. So if you want to adjust that up or down, you just go ahead and get back on it and squeeze it and take the pressure off. Get it lined up there. And then you can, oh, I don't have it lined up. There we go. Then it'll adjust wherever you want it to. And as soon as you let go of it again, it'll, it'll lock right on there in place. So earlier too, we talked about using the hoochie without a dodger. And sometimes there's gonna be instances where that might be just as effective. Yes. Just having a dodger. Yeah, especially in the <clears throat> when the fish are skittish and you're you're running down to having to use really small dodgers anyway. Mm -hmm. um, you just you can run this uh, without a dodger. This acts as a dodger uh, as far as movement goes. It'll move the hoochie uh, all over the place, and then it also creates a little bit of a vibration in the, the disc itself that, that you know attracts fish through the their right. lateral line. Yep. Kind of like uh, you get action running a thin blade, uh, small thin blade spoon. You're just giving action to this hoochie. Right. Exactly. All right. Thanks. We've come to the end of a productive day here on Anderson Ranch Reservoir, about an hour and a quarter east of Boise. John, really want to thank you for taking us out in your boat and You're showing welcome. us your amazing planer system. It was a good time today. It was Caught indeed. Got a few fish. Good good time great weather so and a wonderful uh, boat lunch to boot yeah dean tell the tell the viewers more on uh, how to get your products and how to order them if you're interested in uh, uh wiggle fin tackle just go to wigglefin.com um, and check us out on facebook and instagram we also want to thank toby wyatt for his help today with filming and fishing and for Rob Holman, I'm Mike Carey. We'll see you on the water and online.